guys, today we are going to be creating glue and chalk animal portraits. Now you can do this method with any animal of your choice, but for this demonstration, I'm going to do a giraffe. Starting with a big open U shape, I'm going to start for the bottom of the nose and bringing these two lines up for the snout. I'm keeping my lines spaced apart because I'm later going to be tracing them with glue. I'm going to add two rounded lines for around where the eyes will go and then bring them up just a little for the knob part of the head. I'm going to draw a U-shaped line in the middle for the top of the head and then connect these up and around for the little knobs on the top of the giraffe's head. Now, an, a portrait is just the head and neck, so keep in mind that I'm making this very nice and big. For the ears, I'll do sort of a stretched out diamond shape on both sides. And then for the neck, I'm gonna start at the bottom of the snout and bring it all the way down to the edge of the paper, spreading those lines apart just a little bit towards the bottom as they come to the edge of the paper. Next, I'll add a little line inside of each ear. And then I'm going to draw big circles for each of the eyes. Inside of each eye, I'll draw another smaller circle for the pupil. And then I'll add a spot to the forehead, sort of a diamond shape. Next, I'll add two ovals for the nostrils. And then I'm going to add the pattern to the neck, making sort of a random shape using lines on each side of the neck and the center I'll fill the neck with that pattern. Next, I'm just going to add two little spots to the face for a little accent. And finally, I'm just going to draw a little line between the base of the head and the knobs. Now I'm going to be tracing my pencil with washable marker and then I'll trace that with glue. Now it has to be a washable marker because it will get soaked up into the glue when it dries. So I am going to trace every single pencil line with marker and it doesn't necessarily have to be a realistic color. Now that I've traced all of my lines with that washable marker, I'm ready to trace with glue. I'm going to slowly and gently start tracing all of those purple marker lines with that washable glue. Notice that I'm taking my time and I'm holding the tip of the glue bottle slightly above the paper. I'm not touching the glue bottle to the paper. I'm taking my time and when I'm ready to stop, I simply stop squeezing and pick up the bottle. Now I wanna point out that small areas like these little dots or the nostril will get filled in with glue. It'll make a little puddle and fill them in. So if I don't want them to be colored with glue, then I simply don't trace them with glue. So, 
see how this little one filled in. Once I have all of my marker lines traced with glue, I have to let it sit and dry overnight. All right, my giraffe is dry and I am ready to fill it in with chalk pastels. I'm gonna be using a variety of warm colors like yellow, orange, brown, and even some white to lighten it. I'm going to start by drawing with orange and then filling in the spaces with yellow. Now that I've filled most of the main spaces in, I'm going to take my fingers and blend those colors gently together, staying inside of my glue lines. Moving on to the spots, I'll outline them with brown and fill them in with a little bit of orange and again, blend them together. By simply taking your finger and gently moving it over the chalk, you'll blend those colors nicely. I'll add a little bit of black chalk in the pupils and then a little bit of white for some highlights. For the background, I've picked out some cool colors like blue, purple, and some pink. I'm going to gently shade all three colors, overlapping a little bit, and then blend them together with my fingers. And now I have completed my glue and chalk animal portrait. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.